Hey everyone! So this video, excuse me, is actually going to be um, regarding my surgery because I kind of want to let you guys know what's happening because it's not a big secret surgery or anything. I'm actually surprised I haven't done this video sooner. Um, but I'm having a surgery next week. At, next week, today is Sunday, April seventeenth, and my surgery is on Tuesday, April twenty sixth. So just over a week away. Um, and what is for what it's for is um, my top jaw is underdeveloped. <sighs> yeah, so they're gonna be like cutting open. Like my teeth look really yellow. I swear to God, it's just like the lip. It's the lip. Uh, stick so weird yeah anyway they're cutting open like at my gums like on the top and then they're going to be cutting my jaw in three places and then like expanding it with um plates and screwing it all together whatever and it's going to be a permanent thing <clears throat> like those screws and plates will be in there for the rest of my life um so six weeks <clears throat> for the first six weeks after my surgery um I'm going to have, like, a big piece of, like, I forget what they called it, but this big, like, plate thing, basically, right behind my top teeth, going back, um, so that I can't, like, hit the wound or, like, the, <clears throat> or anything like that, and, like, I cannot chew anything, like, actually chew, like, blah, 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 for six weeks, at least, after my surgery, um, so I'll be, like, drink, or not even, I can't even drink out of a straw, like, I can't suck out of a straw. It has to be, like, I take a spoon and, like, drop it into my mouth and then swallow. Um, which is kind of crazy. Um, a lot of people lose weight during the surgery, like, after the surgery, though. So I guess that's a good thing. Um, and then, like, afterward, <clears throat> or no, not afterward, like, during the surgery, they're also removing my wisdom teeth, which is kind of, like, whatever. I've had, to, like, I'd, I've had a surgery, like, before where they cut open my gums, like, on these two sides and then put like clamps on my teeth because they were stuck up here so they put like clamps on the teeth that were in here and like to pull them down so I've had something like that before so the wisdom teeth does not scare me um but uh, one thing that did kind of scare me a little bit was that the doctor prescribed me this really powerful painkiller it's like not oxycontin because I don't know where if it is like if it's like this where you are but right now we're in like this big oxycontin pandemic like where everyone like, on the streets is, like, selling Oxycontin and, like, the drugstores and pharmacies are being, like, excuse me, like, totally raided and, like, held up at gunpoint and stuff like that just for Oxycontin. I don't have Oxycontin, but I have, like, something that's, like, right near that. Like, it's pretty close. And my, my like, I only have 30 pills, but my mom's, like, telling me, I'm going to be monitoring you because I guess they're highly addictive or whatever. And I'm, like, mom, like, I'm not going to get addicted to them. Like, and if I do ha feel like I have to take my painkiller, I'm going to, like, cut it in half and then just take half of it because, like, I don't want to be taking the full thing. So, but my mom's going to be, like, locking up, like, the locking up the tablets and, like, just leaving me, like, whatever I need for the day or whatever. And I'm, it's, like, pretty crazy. Um, so, yeah, anyways, surgery. I'm only going to be in the hospital for, like, one night. And I'll be like, I'll be leaving the hospital at like 6 in the morning. So, and <clears throat> what kind of gets me sad, I guess, is that um, after my surgery, like I think my surgery is probably going to be at 8 in the morning. So the last time I'll see my mom is probably around like 6 or 7 o'clock that morning. And then I can't see her again until 6 o'clock like that night, which kind of like makes me sad and like stuff like that because I'm really close to my mom and she's like my comfort. I'm getting emotional. Anyway, I forget what the last video I was, was that I got really emotional in. Anyway. So yeah, I mean, like, I can't see my mom that deep. Even if, like, I can't really remember much from that day. Like, I usually, it just, I think it'd just be nice for me to, like, have my mom there. And, um, I guess more gory details of the surgery is that when I wake up, <sighs> sorry, okay. Deep breath, take a drink. When I wake up from the surgery, I'm going to have like a tube 
jab my nose into my stomach and I might have like elastics holding like my mouth together and then I'm gonna have a catheter which like kind of make well I may have a catheter I think the doctor said maybe I'm pretty sure about that part I really hope not because that would be kind of annoying I guess and um, I don't really need that like I can make up and I'll be able to go to the washroom I'm really I'm usually pretty good after surgeries oh yeah and the tube that's going down my stomach or down my nose into my stomach is because like if my mouth is like elastic you shut elastic to shut whatever like held shut with elastics and like I have to get sick I can't so that tube's gonna like oh yeah my mouth's gonna be like draining blood down into my stomach so that tube's gonna like suck it all out or whatever I think that's pretty much what I've gathered and um after surgery they'll take the tube out like after about two hours if I can hold fluids down um so yeah but um yeah, I'm kind of getting really emotional and really nervous about it, as you can tell. And plus I have like a big presentation that's due on like Tuesday, and today's Sunday, and I haven't, like I haven't really started the presentation yet, because I'm so nervous about the surgery, I can't even think straight. Oh, I'm just really frustrated. Anyway, I'm going to try to calm myself down quickly here. So yeah, if you happen to be saying a prayer or like anything like that I don't want to sound like a big pity party here that's really not why I'm here but if you happen to be like saying a prayer maybe just drop one for me that like maybe I don't need the catheter and maybe I get like that tube out of my nose as soon as possible so yeah oh so that is my video on my surgery and I hope you guys have a good uh, weekend well I hope your weekend was good and, um, oh yeah, I'm going to be, like, pre-filming videos, um, and hopefully I'll be able to put some of them up, like, um, like, throughout the weeks that I can't really talk much, um, because I don't know how long, like, I'm going to be out of talking before, so, yeah. Anyway, so, have a good week, um, and I will try and talk to you guys as much as I can before the surgery. So, bye everyone.